Hey everyone, today we're going to tackle fourth species with the Cantus on top. In some ways, fourth species is the easiest of all species because the solutions are quite limited. When realizing a fourth species exercise, our goal is pretty simple. Find the solution that allows for as many suspensions as possible. Unlike previous species, in fourth species, repetition is not only okay, but desirable when involving a chain of dissonant suspensions. So if you can have a chain of, say, two, three suspensions from beginning to end of the realization, then you should go for it. Repeating the same suspension over and over again is not a problem. With that said, let's listen to our cantus and get started with this one. When our cantus is in the upper part, the lower part must begin on tonic. This gives us an octave, and because this is fourth species, we tie the note into the next bar, which brings us to our dissonance of a second. This second then resolves down by a step to a third. As you can see, the suspension has three parts, the consonant preparation, the dissonance, and the downward resolution by a step of that dissonance. This third then becomes the consonance that prepares our dissonance of a diminished fourth in bar three. However, our dissonance resolves upwards. When a suspension resolves up by a step, it's called a retardation. Now, some treatises don't allow this, but the Galon Beach treatise does. There are conditions though. The retardation can only occur in minor keys and only when the leading tone is acting like a dissonant in the suspension. Having the leading tone against scale degree three in minor is also a sonority that Bach was quite fond of. You'll see it all over his music. Let's have a listen. Moving on to bar four, we're left with the consonants, which means our chain of dissonant suspensions has ended. When this happens, ask yourself this, what new note can act as both my consonant preparation with the cantus and my dissonance in the next bar? In this case, that note would be E. E correctly prepares what's going to be another chain of two, three suspensions. But wait, doesn't this E imply a six, four chord? Well, in previous species it would, but in fourth species, we are allowed to change harmonies within the same bar. The introduction of this E signals a change in harmony. If we were to add figures to this bar, they would look something like this. Five denotes a root position A minor chord and the sharp symbol a root position E major chord. We have two chords in this bar. This E sets off a small chain of two, three suspensions that is then broken with the octave C's. In this case, we can't make another chain of two, three suspensions work so what should we do? When the cantus simply doesn't allow for a long continuous chain of suspensions, we should keep the syncopations going while trying to intersperse at least some dissonant suspensions throughout the line. So what I did here was have another change in harmony occur, C major moving to F major, which doesn't set up a suspension in the next bar, but keeps the syncopation alive and ultimately allows me to set up a 4-5 suspension in the penultimate bar. So there you have it, a fully realized fourth species exercise. Let's take a listen and pay close attention to how the suspensions sound. We could also have ended with something like this. Fourth species, while somewhat systematic, is extremely important and will be of great use to us when applied to florid counterpoint and especially free composition. Suspensions are something I see students often forget to implement in their own realizations or compositions, yet they can often add a layer of sophistication, beauty, and subtlety to a worker passage. So learn to appreciate suspensions, hear them, sing them, and make them a part of your compositional toolkit. Thanks for watching. I'm excited for the next video where we'll finally tackle florid counterpoint and combine all previous species to create something a bit more organic and musical. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Bach to the Basics if you're interested in seeing more content. Thanks again and see you next time.